Hi, I'm Hope Warshaw, a dietitian and diabetes educator for more than 30 years. I'm the author of a few best-selling books from the American Diabetes Association, and I am always pleased to support ABA's efforts to make taking care of diabetes just a bit easier for you. Do you need to change your eating habits? Are you not eating enough vegetables? Have you been encouraged to eat more fruit? If you have answered yes, I have some solutions for you. I'll share a few how-tos from my book, Diabetes Meal Planning Made Easy, a book that's designed to help you transition your eating habits. You don't need to go on a diet or give up your favorite foods. Changing your eating habits can be a challenge, so it helps to take a step-by-step, -step, slow and steady approach. Start by choosing a few habits you need to change. Make these changes easy to accomplish. Leave those tougher ones when you've had some successes. Set two or three SMART goals. A SMART goal is one that is S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic, and T for time frame specific. Yes, S-M-A-R-T, SMART. Let's put SMART goals into action with the goal of eating more fruits, a goal nearly all of us need to do. So a SMART goal is during the next three weeks, I will eat a half a banana or a half a cup of blueberries on my cold cereal at breakfast. And I will pack a small apple or pear to eat as an afternoon snack at work at least four days a week. I offer plenty of tips to eat more fruits in my book, Diabetes Meal Planning Made Easy. Here are a few. Serve fruit with a main course, applesauce with pork roast, pineapple with ham. Don't just save it for dessert. Keep dried, frozen, and canned fruit packed without sugar on hand so you'll never be without. Make sure that fruit tags along with you. Take a piece or two to work. Grab a piece if you'll need a snack along the way. Since vegetables are high in nutrition and low in calories, I've included plenty of ways for you to fit in more vegetables in my book. Try adding sauteed onions, peppers, and mushrooms into an omelet, a tomato sauce, or onto a frozen pizza, or even in casseroles. Add vegetables to sandwiches, lettuce, sliced tomato, sliced cucumbers, or be more adventurous with sprouts or slices of red pepper. Make double and triple portions of vegetables like broccoli or green beans. Eat them hot as a side dish, dip them in a tasty yogurt dip for snack, or add them to a salad. I've given you a strategy for changing your eating habits along with tips for fitting in more fruits and vegetables. You'll find plenty more of these tips in my book, Diabetes Meal Planning Made Easy. The book will also help you learn how to fit in convenience foods, sweets, and also alcohol. All of these tips combined can help you control your weight and glucose to stay healthy for the long run. Keep in mind it takes about six months of practicing a new eating habit for it to become your new way of eating. So keep it up. Thanks for watching and please take good care of your diabetes.